The Bahamian mail boat is steeped in more than a century of Bahamian history, Bahamian economy, Bahamian livelihood, and the Bahamian way of life. A necessity for the Bahama Islands, connecting families, and helping businesses expand their customer base. It's the way we transport cargo from Nassau to and from the Bahama Islands. Anything from grocery to kitchen sinks to cars, the Abacos, Acklands and Cricket Island, Andros, the Berry Islands, Bimini, Cat Island, Ilufra and Harbor Island, the Exumas, Freeport and Inagua, Long Island, Meguana, Ragged Island, Rum Key and San Salvador, and if you're adventuresome, mail boats are also a great way to travel from island to island. Local stores on the family islands depend on the mail boat to come in every week to replenish their supplies. And Nasuvians await their supplies from the islands of produce like melons, onions, gold peppers, fish, crawfish, conch. It's a busy day when the mail boats arrive. The mail boats are very dependable and only bad weather or storms affect their routine. Captain Eric Weber, a maritime historian, wrote a book called The Mail Boats of the Bahamas, 200 Years of Maritime History. There are also a number of write-ups and videos available online about the Bahamian mail boat. I got my box of fresh grunts today from a good friend on Sandy Point Abaco. As Michael Creighton put it in his book, A to Z of Bahamas Heritage, despite what its boats are called, the regular government-supported shipping service between Nassau and the Family Islands has never been entirely or even mainly devoted to carrying the mail. Laden with provisions, supplies, and island produce, and crowded with passengers traveling to and from their home island and places of work, Bahamian mail boats have always been, and still remain, essential lifelines. Stop. 